Hi, and welcome back. In this video, I would like you to get introduced to our promotions module. How easy is it to set up promotions, discount codes, but also something like bundled discounts? Let's have a look in our demo store. The promotions module can be found in our administration under marketing promotions. There are two examples in it. So let's have a look how easy it is to set up a promotion in Chapware 6. Let's start with the first example here, 20% off products from summer campaign. In general, the promotions uh, module is um, set up in three, three tabs, general, preconditions, and discounts. Under general, you can set the general settings. So give the promotion a name, activate it. So only if it's activated, obviously it can be used in the storefront. You can allocate your different sales channels where the promotion should be applicable and you can give it a time setting as well. So if you want to plan ahead for your Valentine's campaign or your Christmas campaigns, etc., you can uh, activate this discount only for a specific time. Then you have the possible redemptions here. A, the total re uh, possible redemptions. So overall, 2000 times um, this permission can be used and the redemptions per customer. So only one time a customer is um, allowed to use this discount. And you can also exclude other campaigns or discounts so that they cannot be combined with each other. Down here can set promotion codes. If you want to have a promotion code to uh, activate the uh, promotion or the discount. Uh, in my case here, I have uh, checked use individual promotion codes. So it can be a generic one, but also individual ones, which you can see here in the window popping up. And you can use uh, placeholders, which is explained further here in the tooltip. In my case, I have set up 10 individual codes and here in the table in the column customer, you can also see which individual promotion code was used by which customer. Moving on to the preconditions tab, you have three sections here, target group, qualified shopping carts and qualified orders. So target group is super easy. So obviously you can limit a certain promotion to only a specific target group. So only customers who have not ordered yet, only customers from a specific custom group or from a specific country, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And here in the qualified uh, shopping cart, you can actually um, kind of define how the shopping cart needs to look in terms of products in there to get the discount. And with the qualified order section here, you can actually um, give an occasion in terms of the scope of your order. So for example, you're only eligible for this promotion if you use PayPal as a payment method. And then last up is the discount in the end. So it can be applicable to the card, to shipping cost, an entire set that you set under preconditions or a group of sets or a set group. And here you can um, make specific products applicable for the, um, uh, for the discount here, which you can set here based on a product rule, which then again links to the uh, rule builder. So directly here from this promotion module, you can create a new rule grouping products together, for example, for this discount. You can give it a sorting, so ascending or descending in terms of price. It can be applicable to all results or every uh, second, third, etc. You can limit the amount of usages. And here you actually set the real discount in the end. In my case, it says 20% of products and so on and so on. So therefore it's a percentage uh, discount, but it could also be other types. And then 20%. Down here, the last field is also quite interesting because especially if you work with percentage discounts, you can limit or you can give it a cap um, until a maximum discount value of, for example, 100 euros reached. And even if 20% would be more than 100, only the cap here until 100 in this example would be um, given as a discount. Perfect. Now let's make a real example for the storefront and let's have a look for this with the um, a discount sample three for two. So three for two is quite a common uh, discount. So you have three items in your bag and you only pay two. And in my case, the cheapest third one then should be for free. So let's see how I set things up under general. So I gave it a name, I activated, I allocate the sales channel, the demo shop in my case, 
I have set up the total redemptions and I said do not combine with the other promotion. And in my case, I use or I would like to use a promotion code, but a generic one. So three for two, which I'm going to copy now. Moving on to the preconditions uh, section. No specific target group is needed here, but I want to qualify the shopping cart further by clicking on activate experimental features and then promotion sets of product. In my case, um, the quantity should be three and price ascending. And now I have allocated a product rule, the set for three for two campaign. Let's have a quick look at the rule builder. What is in this product rule? So I'm going to open a new tab. I go to the rule builder and in my case set for the three for two campaign. And as you can see here, I group the line items, Gina to bikini, ice cream scoop and fireball together. Cool. So these three products need to be in the shopping cart before the discount can be applicable. Let's move on to the third tab, the discount itself. In my case, I want to have the third one for free. Thus, I choose percentage 100, so completely for free. In my case, it should be applicable only to a specific range of products, and this would be the three um, products which you saw in this set. So the ice cream scoop, the bikini, and uh, the fireball. And I want to have price ascending, so only the cheapest one should be um, should be uh, discounted by 100%. That's also maximum usage one time. Perfect. Let's save it and let's see how things look like in the storefront. So as you remember, we need that three uh, products in the shopping cart. So let's look for the Gina 2 bikini. Add it to the shopping cart. We also need um, the fireball, which we also place and add to the shopping cart. And last but not least, we also want the ice cream scoop. There we go. Perfect. So let's go to the shopping cart now. As you can see here, in my case, the cheapest product is definitely the ice cream scoop. And if I use my three for two um, discount code now, this one should become for free. Perfect. This can sample three for two has been added code has been added. And thus you see the cheapest one in this case, the ice cream scoop was um, deduced. And this is actually how easy you can create uh, discounts with uh, the shopware uh, promotion model, which comes out of the box. If you like further information, go to docs.shopware.com and then under user uh, configuration, marketing, and there we got the promotion modules. If you like to do some more reading on all of the different conditions and um, yeah, different ways you can have to set up promotions. I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to set up promotions in Shopware 6. Thanks for watching and see you next time.